So my friends, this is the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module which is most commonly used throughout the world for automation purposes. With the help of this module which is ESP8266, you can control and monitor any electrical device. It may be a bulb, fan, motor, robot, car, etc, etc, etc. You can monitor your sensors wirelessly from anywhere around the world. In simple words, we can say that this tiny module, which is ESP8266, has infinite uses. It can be used in millions and billions of projects in different styles. So, before we start using this Wi-Fi module in any project, first let me tell you about its pin also. Starting with this pin. This is the VCC and it should be connected with 3.3 volts of the Arduino or Mega. So make sure that you don't apply voltage greater than 3.3 volt as it can damage this Wi-Fi module. Then this second one is the reset and this one is the CH underscore PD and this one is the TX which is a transmit pin of the Wi-Fi module. Then this one is the ground and it should be connected with the ground pin of the Arduino or Mega. And this one is the GPIO1 and this is the GPIO0 and this is the RX receive pin of the Wi-Fi module. So now my friends that you have an idea about its pins. Now before you can use this in a project, first of all we have to update a software. So, so how to do that actually? Now first of all as you can see on the screen. First of all, upload this simple sketch which consists of the white setup and the white loop. And as you can see, the code is just uploaded. So my friends, now to update the program, we have to make some connections and for that we will have to connect the TX pin of the Wi-Fi module with the TX of the Arduino and the RX of the Wi-Fi module with the RX of the Arduino. Connect the RST of the Arduino with the ground as you can see. So it will actually bypass the 80 mega 3 to 8 microcontroller. And then connect the VCC which is uh, the 3.3 volt pin of the Wi-Fi module with the 3.3 volt of the Arduino. And also connect the PD pin of the Wi-Fi wi module which is this one, the CH underscore PD. Can also connect this one with 3.3 volts of the Arduino and connect the ground of the Wi-Fi module with the ground of the Arduino. So we make these connections and make sure that you connect the GPIO pin of the Wi-Fi module which is this one, the GPIO0 with the ground of the Arduino. So these are the connections and now let's update the software. I have already downloaded that software so make sure that you download this software which is the the ESP826 Flasher and this is uh, 0 0.9.2.4 now click on this the exe file click on the bin and now select this one the V0.9 Point two point four the eighty firmware so open this and my Arduino is installed on COM5 so click over here and if you want you can also confirm this from here tools and over here you can see it's COM5 okay so now click on the download and now you can see it's just started and over here you can also see that the LED is blinking So at 99 you will get an error but just don't worry about this. Okay, so now the, the firmware is updated. And now let's check the 80 commands. So for that, first of all we'll have to remove Arduino, you know, just disconnect that and disconnect the GPIO 0. So the wire which is connected with the GPIO 0, simply disconnect this. Okay, so now it's disconnected. Okay, so now connect this. Okay, and now click on the serial monitor. 
So once again, I want to tell you that make sure that you disconnect the GPIO zero pin from the ground. So I've already disconnected that, and the rest of the wire are as same as such. So the the, 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 the CH underscore PD is connected with 3.3 volt, the VCC is connected with 3.3 uh, volt, and the RX is connected with the RX pin of the Arduino, and the TX of the Wi-Fi module is connected with TX of the Arduino. And the RST of the Arduino is connected with the ground. So now the serial monitor is open and let's type a, a command which is the 80 and 80 plus RST so it's working great so now we are done with the with, with the software updating and uh, as you can see on the screen the 80 commands are working so now this Wi-Fi module is ready and it can be used in any project I hope you like today's episode and uh, like and share my videos with your friends and see you in the next episode and the upcoming tutorials I'll be making so many cool projects using this uh, Wi-Fi module so do subscribe to my channel so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials see you in the next episode